so today I thought I'd do a black smoky eye with a little bit of shimmer for the Christmas season. Now I am getting so excited for Christmas, I keep seeing all the bits in the shop and yesterday I put my tree up. I actually put my Christmas tree up. Might be a bit early for some, but last year I had it up on the 6th of November, so I did good this year, I did hold back. So what inspired me to do this smoky eye tutorial today was obviously because the Christmas season's coming up, everyone loves a glam black smoky dark eye. We all love it, we're all guilty. Plus, I've been sent by Sigma Nightlife Glam Glitter Brushes. I haven't opened them yet, so I'm gonna be using these brushes in the tutorial so we can have a look together and review them and see if they are as glamorous as they sound. So here is the packaging of the limited edition Nightlife brush set. So in here you get five brushes, which I think is amazing. And I love this packaging, how glittery and glam. And it's actually textured, the glitter. Oh, some have fallen out the plastic. So here we have the five brushes. So first up, we have this contour brush. Super fluffy and it's so soft. That's what I love about Sigma brushes, they are super soft. So this is the Large Angle Contour F40 brush and the handle is all glittery. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but it's like a blue glitter. So in the light, there's bits of green and blue. So this is the Tapered Highlight Brush. It is super soft and I wouldn't say it's overly dense, but it is dense. So you can really pick up that highlight and pack that on. This is the Tapered Highlight F35 brush. And so soft. And have the three eye brushes. So again, with the really sparkly handle, we have this one, which is super dense. So this would be amazing for packing on the shadow on the lid or the lower lash line. And this is the eye shading E55 brush. And we have a super soft blending brush, which as you know, my Sigma blending brush is my favorite eye brush. So this is for blending and this is the E25. And then here we have a flat definer brush, which is super soft. And I wouldn't say it's overly dense, it does move, but it is pretty compacted to get that sharp line. So this would be amazing for going on the lower lash line or the top lash line to do like a smoky eyeliner. And this is the Flat Definer E15 brush. How gorgeous are they? So in the set, you get a really good variety of brushes to do a full look. You could easily do all your powders with these two brushes and then your eye look with these brushes. So I think this is a really cool set to have. And who wouldn't want to put it up? Come on, let's glam up their makeup brushes in your pot and they're like, they're having a glitter party. So I'm gonna be using these within my tutorial with other brushes as well. Let's jump in and see what we can do. So now you're zoomed into my beautiful eyes. And I'm going in with this Ramel primer. Like I said in my last video, I'm still really loving this primer. You want to make sure your makeup stays on, so primer is essential. Because we want to glow, I'm going to go in with the Barry M Liquid Chrome in Moon Potion. So I'm just going to put that where my highlighter will go, on the highest points of my face. So a trick that I've learned recently is contouring under your foundation, which is something that I've loved doing recently. So the idea is that it gives a soft contour that looks really natural. So it kind of creates some natural shadows on your face. So I'm gonna go in with my Cream Iconic London Contour Palette, and we're using this middle shade here. Oh, these earrings keep getting caught in my hair. So now that I'm looking a bit like a patchy oompa loompa, we're going to go in with some foundation. I definitely have definition still, but it's not harsh and sharp because girl knows I have five chins and no cheekbones. So now I'm going to go in with this Maybelline concealer. 
This is really such an affordable, heavy coverage concealer. And you can just find it in your local drugstore or on the high street. It blends so quickly as well. You hardly need to really blend it out and push it in. So now I'm going to go in with my favourite powder. I'm going to be using this to set my face. So to do my powder, I'm going to go in with the F40 brush. We're going to test this baby out there. Oh, it feels so soft. I love when you use new brushes. So now I'm going to go off camera and do my brows and then I'll be back. Now the brows are done, we're going to jump in and start doing our eye makeup. Today I'm going to be using the Morphe 25A. So I'm going to jump in with the blending brush, this is the E25 from the Nightlife set. And we're going to jump in first with this gorgeous light peachy colour. So it's picked up the powder really nicely. I'm using this already, I can tell that this is going to be amazing for blending, but back and forth motions. Whereas this blending brush, which is the E40, is good for doing circular motions because it's on a point. Whereas this one is kind of flat in a way. It's oval shaped, which is good for back and forth motion because it's quite dense on the tip. Whereas this one is quite flat on the top, which is good for going circular. So just a tip if you want to know how they feel. Now I'm going to go in with my E40 brush and I'm going to start off with this brown shade here. I'm going to go back in with the same colour and use this one on the crease. You guys see this brush I find easier to go back and forth, whereas in circular motions you don't have as much control. So now to add a bit of orange to the crease, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. To add a little bit orange to the crease for that burnt, smoky look, I'm going to go in with this orangey yellow right here which is called New Wave. I'm going to go back in with the E25 brush I'm just going to blend the top half out with my E20. So now we're going to start incorporating the darker colours to build up a smoky eye. So I'm going to go in with this gorgeous red base brown here because I think that would really complement the oranges as it transitions to the black. So you want this colour really just in the crease, which is where this blending brush comes in is perfect for this. You go back and forth blending it upwards slightly as you drag it back. So now we've built up all the browns and the oranges, we can now finish off the lid, which is going to be a dark black. So I'm going to go in with the E55 from the Nightlife set in this gorgeous black, which is so pigmented for a black. And we're just going to pop that one over the lid. And the brush has picked it up so well. It's always scary going in with the black. Make sure as well you go right up to your lash line. You don't want a gap where you've gone with the black. I'm just going to pack it on. And I'm going in with the E25 just to blend that into the crease with the brown. So to make it more Christmassy, we're going to go in with some glitter on top of the black. Now, I haven't got any actual black glitter, but I have got this L'Oreal Luminous Golden Black little eye palette. And in this palette, there is the black glitter in this middle part here, which has a gold reflect in. So I'm going to go back in with the eye shading brush from the Nightlife set and just kind of get all this glitter. So I'm just going to pat it on to pack it on. I'm just going to pack it on the top. You can already see there's little bits of glitter on it. So if you do have some fallout under your eyes from the black, just go in with a powder brush and just pat under. In a more common sense world, you would do a black smoky eye first before the foundation. I just cannot do makeup that way. I hate going around my eyebrows and my eye makeup with foundation and blending bed. I just do not trust myself. 
I will basically mess it up. <laughs> now I'm going to go in with my Sigma F20 brush, which is my favourite bronzer brush. And I'm just going to go in with some Hoola from Benefit, just to warm my face up. So now I'm going to go and pop some lashes on, and then I'll be back. So now I've popped my falsies on. These are the Vegas Nate Grand Glamour ones. I'm now going to finish off my lower lash line makeup to connect the smoky eye with the lower lash line. First of all, I'll be dipping back into my subculture palette with a new wave, which is the gorgeous orange, and using my Sigma E40 brush. I'm just going to run this along the lower lash line quite far down so that I can do the black closer to the lash line. So now I've blended out the orange, I'm going to go in with the flat definer E15, that's in the nightlife set. I'm going to go straight in with the ready brown that we use. This brush is so nice to use on the lower lash lines. I'm going back in with the flat definer brush in with the black. Now the black I'm only going to focus on the outer half of the lower lash line, just so I don't close my eyes too much. So this I'm just going to dab on top of the lashes and then I'm cleaning that brush and then going back in to blend it to the other half of the eye. Just so there is black but it's not as dark. So now I'm going to go in with my Lash Sensational Mascara. I don't like to do big, clumpy and long lashes on my lower lash line. I just like to add a bit of colour and definition to them. So I'm just going to do it really lightly. Just put it down slightly. This brush is amazing. It really grabs the lashes and does all the work for you. So now all our eyes are done, we're going to go back to the face. I'm going to go in with the large contour brush in the Nightlife set. I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution contour palette. I'm going to use this shade here just to go over my cheekbones. You don't want that dark, heavy amount on there at first. You want to build it up. And I feel that this brush lets you do that. So the last brush in the set that we haven't used yet is the highlighter brush. Now this is a tapered highlighter brush, F35. I'm going to go in with my Makeup Revolution Bait Highlighter in Golden Lights. All my highlighter brushes are fan brushes, so I'm really excited to try this one out. It's totally different shape to what I normally use and we will see how it picks up. So I've done a few swirls in the pan, and now let's see the test. Oh my god. That is really, really, really dense. So this brush gives you that real pigmented glow, whereas a fan brush kind of fans it out and blends it into your skin. This is going to be what gives you that Christmas glow. Oh my god, that glow. That is amazing. Literally is like gold liquid on my skin. So if you like your glow, you need this brush. This is going to give you that t intense pigmented highlight glow that you need to look like a glazed donut. I love that it's tapered as well. So you can get in like your cupid's bow with the tip and it really gets in that area and even in the corners of your eyes. You can do everything with this one brush. So this highlighter brush is definitely my favourite brush out of the whole set. This is just amazing. So this is the Bourjois Rouge Velvet Lipstick in 01 Hey Nude. This is my favourite nude lipstick at the moment. I just love the colour. The formulation just melts onto your lips when you apply it. Then to finish off, we're going to go in with the Makeup Revolution Illuminating Fixing Spray. And that is the finished look. I loved how the smoky eye turned out. I love these brushes. I think they are incredible. You can definitely do a whole look with just these brushes. And I think the handles are just so pretty. I mean, look at that shimmer and shine. They are super pretty. And like all Sigma brushes, they are super soft. They work really well on the skin and they pick up powders extremely well. 
I hate when you have a brush and it doesn't pick up all the powder, especially with eye brushes and they can go really patchy. Well, I've definitely put these eye brushes to the test and it didn't make the shadows go patchy. It picked up the powders really nicely and evenly. And there wasn't even that much fallout either, especially for a black. So these are super impressive. And my favorite is definitely the highlight brush. I mean, look at that shine. So thank you again to Sigma for letting me have a play with these. It was really, really kind of you to send me these brushes. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to click thumbs up and click down below to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.